Hello YouTube, welcome back to episode 3 of the Angel of Death Run. Today is a busy day. Need to give it. Right, so in between episodes, I've redesigned the base so it's a little bit more streamlined and it looks a little bit nicer. It's a little bit nicer to look at. And did a little bit of research. I just got projectile damage 1 and 2, which increased damage by 10% for shotgun, gun turrets, and shotgun shells. The reason I did that is because we have big biters on the go. And they've been attacking and destroying some of the walls. So big biters, like they have a health of 375 and 30 damage. Whereas the small biters, who stand still long enough, have 15 health and 7 damage, so they are significantly stronger. So with that in mind, this episode is purely about military upgrade. So we need some more coal up here. So, so what's the plan for today? Well, we need to get some research done. I am definitely going to do this. Piercing rounds. 8 damage plus 1.6. Whereas the. I oh, can't really see it, but. And we also get grenades. So we get an upgraded magazine round and grenades, which is awesome. Right? So that shouldn't take too long to research. Um, I want to have one of these for steel. I have one for steel, and then I have one more for iron, and one more for copper. And that should more or less take up the entire space. And where am I going to put them? I'm thinking about having like steel there, iron there, copper there. So if I have copper, iron, steel. I could have steel in the middle. And then I just have to... Remake the ammo and redirect it. So, uh, the miller that's done. Um, got armor. I will need some armor. So, damage wise, it's 5 plus 1. And this is 8 plus 1.6. So, it's more than 50%. Let's have a shotgun. I want the sworn. Oop. And the grenades just require iron and coal. Nice and easy. I'll just make them manually as in I'll just bring the iron plates over manually what is this gates I don't want any gates um stronger explosions that'll be good for the grenades there's flamethrower there's this combat shotgun and I am miles I'm quite far off it so um what do I want? What do I want? Weapon shooting speed. I uh, will need that, but not just yet. I need defense steel. That would be a good shout. Um, also, when it comes to the steel, the layout is slightly different because, well, the only bit that's different, I'll show you when this is done. So that makes iron ingots. And iron ingots go into another blast furnace to make steel, but you need oxygen. And how you get oxygen in pipes and barrels on this game is with an electrolyzer. If I can see the research, should I have it unlocked? Um, do we not have electrolyzer? Slag processing, don't want that. Where are you? Chemical plant. Don't see you down there. Um, water treatment. Would that be the start? No. We need to do water treatment anyway. Because we need washing, which gives us clay. Uh, washing 2 gives us clay. I believe. Uh, limestone is washing 2. Washing one gives sand, clay, and landfill. So we will need to do that. 
Uh, engine, explosions, vehicles. Where? Oh, where? Where's my electrolyzers? Uh, also has water treatments. Not any of them. Not you. Close, but it's not you. Still, I don't think that is what I want. Chemical processing, plastics, lubricants, no. Hmm. Water treatment, washing. I'm actually not sure where it is. What the hell? Slag processing, geo, silver. Ah, there it is. Basic chemistry, which gives us an electrolyzer. And the electrolyzer can reduce uh, oxygen and hydrogen from the pools, pools water and separates the chemicals within the water, oxygen, hydrogen, and leaves us some slag. So we will need basic chemistry done as well. Um, other than that, I've already picked up, I, this was just for steel so I can make some of these. So I can start making the ingredients I need. Um, or burner, I need stone. Oh, to make. All right, that should be enough stone, but I eat them apparently. And just for case, I probably need some stone bricks. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so how many do I actually need for three of these? One, two, three, four, five. So I need 15. One, two, three. Also, with the iron and copper and steel up here, I'm going to make some quality of life stuff. I'm going to have automated belts, automated. Um, what do I want? I want belts, I want inserters. Um, I'm going to have the Pearson bullets, obviously. And I'm not sure what else I actually need. Because I'm going to have to go out there and kill these guys soon. Because once I get to the Mark 2s, because I can't make it in the Mark 1s, we get access to a new recipe. Which require crushed sapphire and crushed uh, juvelite, and you need a mineral catalyst. Mm -hmm. Not sure how you actually make the catalyst. I'll have to look into that. But the juvelite, and we need chromium. If I look on the map. We got some chromium there, and we got some juvelite there. So soon mm -hmm. we have to take out all these guys, and put up a nice, put up a wall up there to keep them out. So I've got hold of all this new stuff, which would be amazing. Alright, so we've got steel, we need to do basic chemistry. 50, 15 seconds, that should fly through. Um, run. Did I pick up the blast furnaces? I did, yes. So, if we have a look at the new recipe for steel, we need iron ingots and oxygen. We need 60 oxygen and 24 iron ingots to produce 6 steel ingots. Right. Every 4 seconds, I believe. This only takes 4 seconds to do. So it only produces 6 steel. That's quite a bit. Right, so... I think in the meantime, I'm just going to do a bit of um, research and then I'm going to start up up here setting up for our 
copper, iron and steel. And I shall see you when we are there. Bye bye. <laughs>
also had to change these to red as well because when you go for a 1x4 divider you only get a quarter of each into each of the dividers so I wanted um, I wanted red which is double the speed of the yellow to sort of counter the delay there and we shall plug the iron in and plug the copper in Ooh, I also increased our power plant uh, research landfill just chained around there so I could double up the power plant there so now we have 24 power plants and it's a bit overkill actually I didn't think wasn't sure how much I'd need but yeah everything's done also researched uh, assembly machines too which I will be plugging into the lab later on but first thing I need to do is create piercing round bullets because I uh, stacked up a couple bullets and as you can tell from the damage on the wall the big biters are coming in there's quite a few of them now and I need to upgrade the ammo as soon as possible so we should right so we've got first lot of steel ingots waiting on you there we go and processing molten steel comes through and I need to plug these in might be a good idea and we have steel being processed amazing so now that the base is more or less complete for what I can do for the time being all I'm going to do right now uh, research I'm not sure what I really want to research I'll research you you won't take too long and they get electronic machines she's used for re uh, making electronic components and stuff like that at a faster rate than what the assembly machines can do them alright so I build a bunch of Mark 2's because I don't want Mark 1's anymore and go grab myself some iron so I can make some more there we are. and a bit of copper because I want to I want to make uh, the bullets, don't I? I want to make these, which require copper, steel, and what are the resets there? Ah, the electronic machines, right? Because I need to make this, which is just pure iron. Very easy to make. One second for one. That's three seconds for one, so one machine can satisfy three piercing rounds. I have three and I could do nine. Actually, could I do nine? Yeah, I'll do two and s yeah, I'll do I'll do nine. Three and nine. Nice and easy. This needs copper, steel, and firearms. So now uh, they're still building. It's more than enough. I can easily build all that stuff. Uh, what do we want now? Warehouse might not be a bad shout for all my junk stuff. Or silos. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll just go from the top and work our way down at this point. Actually, no, networks. I want logistic robots. Would be ideal. But we'll just go from top to bottom until it's all done. So, give this an hour to process through here. And I shall. Hmm. See what I might do. Yeah, where's inserters? Build a bunch of them. And then just have these coming out. I need more transport. Everything's moving. And that's all I'm going to do is have all these coming out to the middle here. And three nice lines. And then we shall get some buildings on the go. Alright, uh, chemical processing, chemical furnace. Last time I played this mod, I never once used this furnace. It's not really that necessary. But 
That's a bit of research nonetheless. Alright, so I'll be back once I have got everything built and I've got everything just lined up here waiting to be processed. See you shortly. guys I am back for one last little update uh, lined the three up there pushed them across and some of them are uh, some of them are incented so it goes on the left side some on the right side on both sides and I have nine assembly mark machines mark two which are 25 what's the difference oh, there which are 25% faster than them because they are 0 0.5, they are 0 0.75 the crafting assembly mark twos and we have the piercing round which are only going up here for the time being but I will wrap them round all the way down there to the other base it's going to take a bit of resource and the only bit of quality life I can really get out of this without taking up too much resources is belts and fast inserters which would do me alright so we have the good belts actually while I'm here build myself some heavy armour because next episode we are venturing out of the walls and we are going to fight these guys we're going to bring the fight to them on the next episode um if you've enjoyed what uh i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna end the episode there so if you've enjoyed watching leave a like comment subscribe ring the bell all that sort of stuff and i shall see you for the war that is the next episode see you later bye, -bye.